when I finally know that we were one of the five selected teams, I jump. Okay, we have been selected for the Irish Challenge. This challenge was really a way to improve our competencies in robotics and software and mechanical design and also to know a little bit about the oil and gas industry. So you have this common goal of solving all these problems. This really brings all the people together. We're all in the same boat, we have the same problems, but it's all the teams work very hard to make it work. So the Argos for us was not only competition, it was the best thing that happened to our team. here tonight to launch uh, the Challenge Argos. In 2014, Total launched the first robotics challenge in the oil and gas industry. Five international teams were selected to create the first autonomous surface robot adapted to oil and gas sites. An explosion-proof robot able to carry out inspection tasks, detect anomalies, and intervene in the event of an emergency. Between June 2015 and March 2017, the robots' performances were tested in a series of three competitions held in Lac, southwest France, and organized in partnership with the French National Research Agency. In the first competition, the jury focused on four criteria, autonomous recognition of a general platform alarm, safe mobility and navigation, data collection and simplicity of the human-machine interface. The jury is made out of four people from Total. They are uh, essentially operators, people from the safety, and four experts, international experts. Well, actually it was great to talk to the jury in the sense that we got a feeling of uh, what they want from us and how they see the whole competition. I think their main concerns are safety. So making sure that operators on the site are safe, independent of failures that the robot can have. The best performances were obtained by the French team Vikings, followed by the Austrian and German team Argonauts. Ten months after the first competition, we're back in Lac for, for competition two. Here we will make the competition much more difficult. The robots tackled missions that reflected operational situations. They had to autonomously negotiate stairs and obstacles, recover data, analyse them and perform appropriate action. peut annoncer le résultat de la deuxième compétition du Challenge Argos. C'est donc l'équipe Viking qui nous ont fourni une plateforme robotique de très belle qualité, très robuste. In March 2017, the teams returned for a final battle which counted for 75% of the overall challenge. The programme included emergency scenarios and degraded situations, with new functions to be tested. Navigating over gravel, mobile obstacle detection and pump signature analysis.
The missions were very difficult this year. We have worked a lot for a few months um, to prepare this competition. For me, we did our best. But the most important for me is we have built something with the lab. We have a team and now I think we will do many of our projects in the future. After three years of research, design and programming, the teams demonstrated that robotics can be adapted to industrial sites and therefore reinforce the safety of operators and optimize operations. The entire Argos competition was, in my eyes, a real success story. So if I see on how we started and what level, with all the teams and where we are now, with beautiful machines and uh, really missions that work, um, I think it was a, a real progress. Two things. One is uh, I met uh, many good guys and uh, uh, made a good communication with the Tatar. And the other is that uh, our technical part of the robot progress pretty much. After the end of the competition, I'm feeling from one side tired and from the another part on the side I'm feeling sad. The journey is finishing, so it's a, an interesting mix of sensations. It's an adventure and it's very exciting and it's, at the same time it's a little bit sad that it's over now because we worked on this for three years. It was very interesting also talking to the other teams, working together with like people from the Tower of Company and us as a university and so on. So it's overall it was a great experience. It's a success. We Within the jury, we have uh, operational people and they are already thinking of applying this technology on site. Beyond the context of the Argos Challenge, these robots will also meet the needs of various industrial sites throughout the world and produce added benefits for civil society. Even though the Argos Challenge is coming to an end, this is just only the beginning for robotics at Total and we see a, a, a great, great future. So I say to the teams, keep developing, keep coding and keep building your robots.